Elsie Bray is an incredible character. I've been reading through some of the lore again, and boy, if you've only played the game and have never read some of this, you're definitely missing out. A big question I've seen over the last couple of days and this season is what's going on with her voice though? Her accent seems to shift in some places and seems a little different than before. At some points, it seems like it does, but we've actually seen this before and there could be an explanation for it. Today we're going to talk about human Elsie, her conversion and resets as an EXO. We first met the Exo Stranger in Destiny 1, where she had a British or English accent and was voiced by actress Lauren Cohan. I don't even have time to explain why I don't have time to explain. I will. I will. I know. No. I was not forged in light. But I believe where our paths cross, ground could break. After the vanilla story, we didn't see this character at all, for years in fact, until Beyond Light in Destiny 2, which was 2020. This time though, the Exo Stranger was voiced by another voice actress, Moira Quirk. The Stranger still seemed to retain the same accent as in the first game. And here comes our Guardian, right on time. Have you heard of the Black Garden? The greatest threat to us all lies there where these machines are born. I once asked Guardians to destroy the Blackheart, to prevent Darkness's arrival. Success may have been achieved, but I now know that fate comes knocking sooner or later. The floodgates are open. The Darkness is here. So here's a cool side note. Moira, who voices the Exo Stranger now, also voiced the Emissary of the Nine. Out there on the edge, your fate is a war unseen amid ruined fleets. Two women, feared, untrusted, forever at arm's length. Recently, some have pointed out the slight change in Elsie's voice lines. Listen to these. Once you're aboard the station, I'll guide you to the Warmind Integration Core. There, we'll upload a virus into its system. I'm here now. We should talk more, later, without him around. I try to get through to her, show her the logical consequences of her choices. Then she digs her heels in, and the more I push, the harder she pushes back, even when she knows she's wrong. So you can see there are tiny changes. Me personally, it sounds fine, but others have pointed the differences out. The English accent more heavily appeared in Beyond Light. It's still here, but it does seem a little lighter in some areas, maybe those more emotional bits. Inside us all is the strength to control darkness. We need only look inward and remember why we're here. This could be a couple of things. Maybe it's been a while since Moira voiced Elsie and the English accent could have been a little funky, but here's the thing, she's English, so that may not be the case. She does do a great job with all of her characters, she's even been in Skyrim, so I don't think this has to do with her delivery, but maybe a choice made by Bungie. I don't have the answers, but as we always talk about the story and the lore, let's look at some of the evidence from earlier content where she speaks with more of an American accent as the same character. Back in Beyond Light in the Deepstone Crypt raid, we can find audio log data pads left over by Elsie Bray. These are before and after she becomes an EXO it would seem. The first four clearly sound more American, like her family's accents in Clovis, Anna, and so on, and the fourth one has the English accent we are more accustomed to. And so, here I am again, in this damn crypt I told myself I would never return to. But I have to do it. I have to. Turns out, he had plans of his own. To keep running it himself, because of course he did. Not to worry. I'm taking care of it now. In your memory. I activate this. And it all goes away. Cheers to that. I'll set whispers on the wind for any future generations. Tales of the evil Clovis Bray brought forth. 
Elsie has been through many iterations. Here's what it looks like. She first came to Europa as a human, then became an Exo. Exo Elsie fought to stop Clovis and Clovis killed her. Clovis rebuilds her as an Exo again with an imprint and withheld the terrible memories of him from her. She would now fight to save Europa from the Vex. In doing so, she along with Clovis won the Exo, which turned out to be Banshee, would die many times and would have a team on standby ready to bring them back to life and continue fighting the Memory Bank. In the end, Europa was saved and Clovis and the Vex portal shut down. So just there, Elsie was created as an Exo, Clovis killed her, he remade her again, and then fighting to save Europa, her and Banshee would reset themselves many times, still with some of those memories from the previous imprint to go back out and fight and save Europa. You then have the rest of her history. I don't know if she's reset since then, like the dark future timelines and so on, but her mind could have been all over the place. So story-wise, is there a reason? The first versions of Elsie from that Deep Stone Crypt dialogue clearly have more of an American accent, and once she became an Exo, it transformed into something new. I'm not sure, I don't believe there's any exact lore on the voice of Exos, their voice box, if it can be customizable, but personally I think it would normally mimic their human design, so they fit more into that new body with their minds. But it is interesting, maybe you can customize your voice and sound different. Banshee doesn't sound like Clovis, but Banshee also reset himself to not be like Clovis. When you look at Elsie, it described her exo frame as a direct copy of her human body, so they both look the same. Little did we know, the real challenge would be the phenomenon known as dissociative exomind rejection. Nascent proto-exos developed serious symptoms of cognitive disorder that eventually led to death. It turned out the human mind would not reconcile its presence in a new body. It took multiple iterations in design, but the Clovis Bray Corporation eventually developed several solutions. The first is to reboot the mind once it has been transferred, allowing it to awaken inside its new shell as though it were being reborn. This has side effects of memory loss and fragmentation, but it's highly effective in the prevention of DER. The reboot process can be repeated multiple times to further the odds of survival. It is not currently known how many times a human consciousness can be rebooted, but scientists estimate it to be around 20. The second preventative measure to DER is to program certain humanisms within EXOs. As machines, they have not the physical needs to eat or reproduce like real humans, but artificially injecting that drive has been clinically proven to reduce the odds of DER. Further experimentation is required to perfect the EXO project, but you can be assured that Clovis Bray is at the forefront in the field of exoscience. Maybe Elsie wanted to sound different at first and not like her evil grandfather. Or maybe many timelines and resets have messed with her programming and sometimes these accents may shift. Game design wise, let's take a look at some possibilities. The voice of the Emissary and the Stranger could have been too similar. If the Emissary is going to return in the future, we haven't seen the Nine in a while, maybe this is a reason, trying to differentiate the characters. Maybe in coming weeks we'll even get explanations to this voice change. Another option, Bungie may have wanted to move into a different direction. In Destiny 1, we never knew Clovis, so it was fine that Elsie had an English accent, but now they may be trying to switch this, and you can easily put a reason in the lore as to why that would happen. Regardless of what the Stranger or Elsie Brace sounds like, it works, and Moira does a great job. It was just interesting to see the change, and many people pointed it out, so I wanted to try and make a video on it. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.